So I'm up here in the smaller loft. This one actually has a little bit less headroom, but it's still really nice and spacious for a sleeping loft. And I normally do not like tiny house sleeping lofts because there's not enough height. But with this one, it's, it's honestly kind of different. Let me show you when we get over here to the larger loft and see, because it steps down, see? And then you've got a little bit more space. I can almost, I'm hunched over. If I sit in bed, I've got tons of space. This is an awesome bedroom. And uh, if I'm usually totally against tiny house lofts, but if it's one like this one, I'll consider it. This is different. There's even a closet here which is really nice. Built-in side tables. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is a huge king bed right here. And, um, and don't worry, there's blinds installed throughout the whole house. I don't know if these are like, there's a, there's a street right there and the cars are going pretty fast. And you can hear them but this, like this house is like the closest to the road. And these windows are pretty good because you can't hear it that much. And there's also like trees and stuff in between the road. But uh, I'm overall, I'm just really impressed. And I've always wanted to, to be in one of these lofts in one of these one XL lofts. So I'm really happy about it. So if you want to see all of that and a little bit more in more detail, just check out the links in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.